Hey there, SketchUp for Schools friends. This is what I call Lesson 3, and for me to get to SketchUp for Schools, I need to type SketchUp for Schools and visit the G Suite Marketplace and launch it. When SketchUp for Schools launches, let's make sure that we're using the new model for feet and inches, because we're going to build a house. When you've got that launched, delete the dude in the middle by clicking delete, and let's call it house with our initials, and tell it OK. Remember when it launches, you need to click once the folder where you want to put it and hit select. Let's start building our awesome house by using the rectangle. And remember we click and release, click and release, and then we click and release so that we can adjust like crazy and then set it down to make our rectangular bottom of our house. One of the most amazing tools in SketchUp for Schools is the push-pull tool. Click it and then choose it and then click it and lift the world up so that you now have a building that is tall. Notice I'm rolling the scroll wheel back so I can make it a little taller so that I am happy with my design. I'm going to switch to orbit so that I can look around from a different side. I'm rolling back so I can see it from further. Still in the orbit. I can push pull to raise it up a little more if I want, but it's totally adjustable. Let's use another amazing tool to make a roof. Click on the line tool and choose the line. Move your mouse along the edge until it snaps to the cyan midpoint. When you stretch back, it can snap to the other midpoint, and then this is where it's magical. Switch, switch to move, and move. Move down the line to the midpoint, and then lift it straight up. Notice you can go wackadoodle, but if you get the blue line, that means you're on the blue axis, and you can make your roof look just like you'd like it to. Let's quickly return to that pencil tool. And let's connect our roof so that we separate those two pieces. Let's use orbit and look at the other side and do the same thing. Note, you could also push in the scroll wheel and orbit as well at any moment. Every house needs a door, so let's switch to the rectangle tool. Notice the rectangle is built to draw from the corner, which is good. Right here, I tapped control and it draws from the center, which doesn't work for me, so I'm going to go back to the corner by tapping control again. Click and let go of the mouse, stretch it to the size of door you want, and you've instantly made a door. I'm going to also make a window by clicking and releasing, moving to the size I want, and then clicking and releasing again. This becomes really cool because we are going to select the materials and on materials I'm going to pick some special materials first I'm going to go glass and I'm going to choose one of these two and when I paint it with glass and use orbit we can look inside and you can see the floor inside your building I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find some wood for my door I'm going to pick my door style and boom I have just painted my door with wood. I'm going to go back up to the colors. And I'm going to find a color that I want the house to be. And I'm going to paint it as well. Wow, is that nasty. But the point is it's fun and fast and easy. I'm going to scamper through my materials again. And I'm going to find the roofing. They are alphabetical, so it'll be down near the bottom. And I'm going to drop some shingles on my cool building. I got to click. And I want them to be on both sides, and I'm going to put them on the front as well. Just for fun, I'm going to go back and explore that brick cladding and siding. And I'm going to put some bricks on my building, because that looks pretty spiffy. There are no real limits to what you can build. I'm giving you basic skills here. Let's add another room real quick by just separating our wall. 
and let's use the push-pull tool to pull a nether bedroom out or some kind of room as easy as that. Let's use a different kind of roof trick. This time I want to find the middle and I'm going to just lift straight up and I want to match it to that height. So see how it drew a line? That way I was sure it was the same height. And I'm just connecting the edges. And then I'm going to erase that. And then I'm going to push pull it across. Notice it's got a different gray color. That's because the inside and the outsides are not matching. Notice it's got a gray color. That's because the insides and the outsides are not matching. You can fix that by just right clicking on each face and reversing it. I'm going to orbit so I can see it from the other side. Right click, reverse faces, and orbit to the other side, and right click, reverse faces. That's pretty nifty, but what if you wanted your second roof to be aimed the other way? Watch this. You can simply erase those pieces that you just built. You can orbit around and look at it from the other side. I still want it to be the same height, so I'm going to start with a point right here, and I want to match it to that height. When I move it across, see how it says from point? That guarantees it's the right height. I connect these sides. And then I want to connect all the way back to the roof. Now, if I match this red line, you'll see it says on red axis. That makes sure it's connected. And then this has to slope down like that for it to connect. And now I've got an awesome roof that comes outside of my shape. I'm going to erase that line in the middle, grab my cool roofing, drop those on top so that it matches and looks even more epic. Just remember that SketchUp for Schools does not save. So since we're a little bit into our project, I would like you to save it. And now I would like you to use these skills over and over again as you make cool windows all the way around your building. You can explore other shapes of windows, see what kind of cool things you can add to make your house a little more special. Use all the painting skills we've given you to make it look more epic. And then when you've got one that you think is finished, make sure you save and call me over so I can see how fantastic your project has turned out. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.